Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can import a MetaHuman and make it playable. So let's go! First of all we start up with the third person template. If you don't have it you can easily add it by adding a feature or content pack and select the third person template and add it to the project. To import a MetaHuman we go to the Quixel bridge. Be sure that you logged in with your Unreal Engine account or account that you want and go to MetaHumans. You can now see all the MetaHuman presets. Of course, you can create your own MetaHuman, links in the description. Just for testing, let's choose this here because I already downloaded it and add it to the project. After that, we can close this one here and we have a new folder called MetaHumans. We open up our downloaded character and we have this blueprint with the name of our MetaHuman. Let's open up this one. After we open the character, it may be asked to enable some plugins. We do this. After enabling the plugins, we get asked to restart the project. Of course, we do that. Back inside our project, we go to the viewport, and as you can see, the hair is missing. We can easily fix this by opening the details, go to the LOD thing, and set the forced LOD to 1. Now the hair is there. The next part is we want to make it playable, so we open up the class settings and set the parent class to the third person character. Next we select our root and put it to the mesh. After this one we select the root here, put the location and rotation to zero. As you can see now we are inside the third person character. Next up we go to the live retarget here. We hit the boolean and check the use live retarget mode to true. As you can see now the animation is fixed. Of course we select the mesh itself and set the visible to false and the visibility based animation tick option to always tick, pose and refresh bones. Very important. Compile and save this. So we are nearly done. The last step is go to do your project again, open up our third person character, so the original one. Go to the event graph, select everything, go to our MetaHuman, to the event graph as well. We can just copy and paste this inside here, delete the begin overlap and tick event, select the begin play here, we can delete this custom event here, put this right here, like that. And that's it. Compile and save this. Go to your project, open up your project settings, go to maps and modes, select game mode and we select our MetaHuman. Let's see if this works. We hit play, there's our MetaHuman, we can rock around, everything works smoothly, great. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye.